Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn something new about pandas, how to create window functions and we'll try to solve a question which is very frequently asked question in terms of SQL and in terms of Python also, right? If you are into data engineering or data analysis, this question can be asked in pandas as well. So find the employee with third highest salary in each department, right? So I have this employee table. Let me run this. So what I'm doing in this code is I'm connecting to my SQL server, right? using this connection PyODBC Pi library and then I'm reading EMP table, right? So EMP table will be there in the data frame. So new data frame is created and in this we have EMP table data. Let me show you quickly. So this is my EMP table, right? It has 10 records and it has department ID 100, 200, 300, 500. Now in each department, I have to find employee with third ISL. So for example, employee ID, uh, department ID 100 ISL is 15,000, then 14,000, then 12,000. So Vikas is our third ISL in this department, department ID 100. Similarly, in department ID 200, Sanjay is our third highest, right? 20,000, 12,000, 9,000, 5,000. In department ID 300 and 500, there are no th third ISL because we have only one, one employee, right? So how do we solve this in pandas? Let me quickly show you how do we do in SQL and then I will try to replicate that in pandas so that it will be easy to understand. Okay, let me go back to the SQL server. In SQL server, we have this employee table, right? What we do? We are doing row number over partition by department ID, right? So that's how we do. I'm doing partition by department ID, right? And within each partition, I need to order by salary. So order by salary. And that's why I got one rank for the highest salary, then rank two, rank three, rank four. So I will get, I will just put a filter rank equal to three. So I will get this answer, this row because similarly for department ID 200, the third ISL is Sanjay. So I will get Sanjay, right? So let me quickly put that filter as well. Select star from here, right? We have to give a alias to the subquery where RNK equal to three and we should have two records Vikas and Sanjay in the output. We have got Vikas and Sanjay, right? Now this I will do in pandas. So look at carefully here. What I'm going to do, first of all, what I'm do, so we have created a new column RNK here. Similarly, I'm going to create a new column in this data frame as well. How do we create a new column? Let me show you quickly. So let's say you have to create a new column. So in the, in the square brackets, you have to give column name. Let's say RNK. My column name is let's say RNK and I want to give some value. I'm giving some constant value 1. That's it. That's it I'm doing. Okay, it is DF underscore EMP, the data frame. Okay, so if I have to create a new column, I will say RNK and for now I'm assigning just 1 just to show you. So I will just run this line and if I look at DF employee, a new column is created RNK, the value is 1. So I just wanted to tell you how to create a new column. Now we don't want one. What we want? We want rank, actual rank. So what we have to do? We have to do two things. One is order by and second is partition by. So how we will do? So I will say df underscore emp. This is my data frame, right? Dot sort underscore values. So sort values is a function, right? In sort value function, this is kind of order by, right? So in sort value function, I have to tell on which column I want to do order by or sort. So I want to do in salary. So within the square brackets, I have to say salary, right? So on salary, I have to do order by. Now, second thing is I have to do in descending order. By default, if you see, it is ascending is true. It is in ascending order, but I want in descending order. So I will say ascending equal to false. Ascending equal to false means it will sort the data in descending order, right? This is first thing. Next thing is we have to do partition by as well, right? So let's do partition by. So for partition by here we have group by only. So for whatever we do aggregation in SQL, that is done by group by, right? Here also it is done in group by, but partition by also is done as a group by here. We don't have a partition by separate keyword. We have to use group by. Okay. Now in group by again, I have to tell on what column I want to do group by. Again, within the square brackets, I want to do in department ID. So partition by, I have to do by department ID, right? So that's how I'm telling, do a partition by 
here it is said gurubai on department id and sort on salary descending right and then what then i have to get cumulative count right this is to get the rank cumulative count so this is the cumulative count function rank function so it will give a cumulative number 1 2 3 4 partition by de department id order by salary descending let's run this and see what happens to our rnk new column right so first time when i gave rnk equal to 1 it created a new column this time it will just override the values because column is already there so let me run it f9 we'll go to variable explorer and now if you see we have got some values in rank now what is happening here if you look at department id 100 the highest salary has got rank 0 so this cumulative count starts from 0 right if we want to exact replicate with the rank function we can just do plus 1 right now i will run it again okay let's go back to here now it is like a rank a row number function right so one highest salary then two second highest 3 4 and this is exactly again the new rank for department id because we are doing partition by or group by on department id again rank 1 2 3 4 right now what i have to do i have to filter data the last thing what we did we did we are rank equal to 3 right so this filter we have to put so now what we can do so this is there now i want a result i will create a new data frame which will have a, have a result i can override this one also but i just want to show you the new one so i will say from df underscore so there are different ways of filtering data in data frame i will show you two ways dot query okay rnk equal to equal to 3 so here in python for equal to operator you have to give double double equal to because single equal to is like a assignment for comparison you have to give double equal to so you are saying from df employee give me record where rank equal to 3 right so those two records should come in df result right let me run this so we have got df result and there are two records vikas and sanjay right department id 100 this guy has rank 3 and department id 200 sanjay has rank 3 this is what we saw in here also vikas and sanjay right So this is one way of filtering data. This is another way of filtering data. So df result one. I will say is result. I am creating one more just to explain. So I will say df employee. Okay, and just see here how how to use this. Here I am saying R N K equal to equal to three. So this is one way of another way of filtering. So what I am saying. from df employee give me record where rank of df employee equal to 3 so from df employee i am getting this column rank and comparing it with 3 so wherever it is true only those rows it will return from df employee right so let me run this and show you so again one more data frame is created df result one here also we have two rows right so both are fine you can use this syntax or this syntax in my future videos i will talk more about these syntaxes but it is good enough for now to understand hope hope you understand this let me know if if it is clear or you want anything else from pandas to uh, to explain it to understand it okay do like the videos it really motivate me to make more pandas videos and along the way you will also learn thanks for watching it try yourself this one and practice it you will slowly like sql you will learn pandas as well thanks for watching it i will put in description what the insert statements if you want also if you don't have sql server which is fine you can just create a csv and read a from the csv you can just say pd dot read csv and give the csv part thanks for watching have a good day bye bye